In a lesson about the 2012 Olympic site, Andy Roberts demonstrates a simple and effective approach to establishing the progress his Year 9 geography students make. Then AST Shidiso Lehare analyzes Andy's approach. Now the purpose of the lesson is to obviously achieve these objectives. And what I want you to do is go through each of the objectives and decide how well you can do that at the moment. For example, the first success criteria Amber says... I understand why East London was chosen to host the 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games. OK. You make a decision. If you're very sure, you know why. You put the smiley face. If you're sign of not, not too sure but maybe have some idea, you put the straight. And if you haven't got a clue at all and don't even know what it's talking about, you put a very sad face. OK, I'm going to give you... There are quite a lot of objectives. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll give you two minutes to do that, please. Just make a quick decision. I'm going to ask you to go back to your seats. And the objective sheet I asked you to start, out at the, start to fill out at the front, can I ask you to now do that again at the end of this lesson? I'm aware that this is Andy's first lesson on a sequence of lessons to follow about the Olympics and for him to do something like this, it will help his future planning, knowing where the pupils are and what they understand and of course altering his planning as time goes on. Now the purpose of the lesson is to obviously achieve these objectives and what I want you to do is go through each of the objectives and decide how well you can do that at the moment. Well, he's getting themselves to assess where they are in terms of what they understand about the objectives that he's uh, displayed or given them a sheet of. If you're very sure, you know why. You put the smiley face. If you're sign of not, not too sure, but maybe have some idea, you put the straight. And then secondly, at the end of the lesson, getting them to evaluate and review the lesson as a whole and see if they have learned. So go back to your seats and... The objective sheet I asked you to start, out at the start to fill out at the front, can I ask you to now do that again at the end of this lesson? Allowing people to participate in this activity is quite helpful for the learning process because on one, you're allowing the learners to take part in the learning themselves and deciding what they know and what they feel they need to learn from that particular lesson. In the same way, you can also measure the progress made by individuals so you're introducing the concept of personalising their learning. What Andy has done now will help him with his future planning, lesson planning. When he looks at um, the smiley faces that people have done, he will see what he needs to then do to put plans of intervention within the classroom to be able to provide the pupils with the knowledge they need to be able to make more smiley faces.